Hello and welcome to Steph's Point. Today we are gonna go through a glute focused workout to help you improve your arabesque and back attitude positions. Both of these positions are absolutely gorgeous, but they require a lot of glute strength, not only in your working leg, but in your standing leg as well. So today we are gonna focus on strengthening and building up the endurance of your glutes so that you can better execute both attitude and arabesque positions and just have nicer glutes. Who doesn't want nicer glutes? Okay, so I got my doggy socks on with me today and we're gonna get right into the exercises right now. Okay, so for our very first exercise, we're gonna start on all fours. Make sure that when you're on all fours, your shoulders are right over your wrists, your knees are right underneath your hips, and they're not sitting back or forward. Of course, this whole series of exercises is choreographed to music because I'm a dancer, so, you know, it's gotta be choreographed to music. So, Everything's in eights and uh, goes right along with the song so you can really jam out while you're working out. Um, we start with our leg down extended to the back. Make sure it's nice and turned out. We're going to do eight lifts and lowers. Two counts up, two counts down. So eight of these nice guys lifting up. Every time we lift up, we only go to where our leg can go. We don't go so high that we arch in our spine. Your spine should be flat as a board the entire time. So we do eight of those. After eight, we, on the eighth one, we stay up, we don't lower back down so that we can keep our foot as high as it is and lift it as we bring it into our shoulder and extend it out to the back. So you're not swinging your leg down to your shoulder, you're keeping it up as if there's something on the ground in front of you that you have to go over. So you're going over it to your shoulder and back. And we're gonna do that four times. It's four counts to your shoulder, four counts out. Then we'll have two eight counts of little pulses before we repeat the entire little thing on the same leg and then do a nice little pigeon stretch and switch to the other side. So let's get right to it. Extending that leg out and five, six, seven, eight with up, two, down, two. Four more. No arching in your spine, just using your glutes. Stay up on this one and go in, two, three, four, out. In, out. Make sure you're going over, keeping that leg nice and high the whole time. In, and out. Little pulses for one, two, three, four. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down. Lift, two, down. Two. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one stay up to go over the moon, over, and out. Try not to lean into your supporting side, stay tall, and don't sink into that right hip. Last one in, and out. Good, slide it through for a pigeon stretch. Switch legs, pigeon on the opposite foot. Big breaths here. Back to your hands and knees for the other leg. Up, two, down, two. Focusing on that glute muscle doing the work, not using your back. Try to reach your foot out and up. Every time you reach it up, it goes out and up. Stay up, lift over. Extend as long as you can. Over. 
push energy through your toes, reaching long. Last one, over. And out, little pulses. And one, two, three, four. Make sure you're breathing. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. You're almost done. Up and down. Four more. Four. Three. Ooh, really feeling in that supporting side. Hold it up and lift over. And out. Long, long, long. Over. And out. Two more. You're almost there. And out. Last one. And out. Good. We're gonna roll over onto our backs now for exercise number two. For the second exercise, we are gonna start laying down. We're gonna do a series of hip thrusts. It's a rather long series, and of course, it is choreographed to the music. So I'm not gonna talk you through the whole thing right now. It'll just be more confusing. Just follow along with me, but know that every time you do a hip thrust, you're trying to push through your heels and push your hips up as high as they possibly can go. Don't cheat yourself by just barely lifting your hips off the floor. Really aim to push those hips as high as they can go. And every time you lower back down, I want you to lower to just a hover. So just a finger, a finger's distance from your hips to the ground. Don't touch all the way back down and relax in between. Try to increase the time under tension of that muscle by hovering your hips and then lifting them up. Hover and lift. All right, so we're gonna start with two nice and slow, and then we'll speed it up and add in some variations. But two nice and slow. Six, seven, eight, lift up. Two, three, four, down. Up, two, three, four, down. And two counts, up, two, down, two, up, two, Six more of these. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, stay up. And little pulses. Lift. Two. Six, seven, eight. Eight more. I mean, four more. Three, four. Come down. Put one leg straight up to the sky. Lift. Down, lift, and down, now faster, lift, two, down, two, lift, two, down, two, lift, two, down, two, lift, two, down, and up, two, three, four, slow, and lift. Yep, we're repeating the whole thing from the top. And up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two. Push those hips up as high as you can. Four more, four, three. Ooh, feel the nice burn in those glutes. One, stay up, little pulses, and lift. Eight more pulses, two, three, four, five, six, seven, leg up, up. Down. Up, two, three, four, down. And up, and down. 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 Legs down, go lift, two, three, Four, down, you're almost done, I promise. There's a finish line coming soon. Good, lift one leg up, lift your hips as high as you can and you're gonna lower and lift this leg four times. Ready, lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower, ooh, you're almost done. Lower and lift, switch leg five, six, five, six, leg up, 
and down, and lift, down, and lift. Last two, and one, and lift. Come on down. Nice, guys. Whew, that last one was a killer. We are gonna go back onto all fours for exercise number four. For this fourth exercise, you are gonna be on all fours, and you're gonna have both legs nice and turned out. So it's gonna feel a little bit like crisscross, but you wanna, uh, the important thing is that we're focusing on that standing leg and building up the strength and endurance of that glute muscle. So we wanna practice it nice and turned out, even when we're on the floor. It's good to work both parallel and in a turned out position. So we're gonna be nice and turned out. Your back leg is gonna be in an attitude position and we're gonna go through a series of lifting and lowering in attitude and arabesque. So follow along with me. Find your nice four position. And here we go, lifting up and six, seven, eight, up, two, down, two. Four more. Just kidding. Four more. Two. Three. Two. And one. Now we're going to go up for two, extend for two, bend, and lower. Lift up, two, extend, bend, and lower. Six more, just like this. Every time you extend, try to push the energy out of that big toe. Three more, three. Ooh, I already feel that standing leg working. Last one up. Extend, bend, and down. And lift it up for pulses. Extending that leg and pulsing it up. 16 more, just like this. Come on, breathe, feel that beat drop and just hang in there. Up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch legs. Two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Two, breathe. Four. And one. Now going up for up. Two, extend, bend, and lower. Up, extend, bend, and down. Push through that big toe. Try not to sink into that standing leg. I know it's hard. Four more. Try to listen to the beat of the music. Take your mind off of it. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained in my head, and I start to think. Come down. Now we're gonna pulse it up. Keep going. Feel that beat drop. You're just jamming out. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Much needed pigeon stretch. Slide that foot through. And switch legs. Take big deep breaths here. And we're gonna move up to standing for our very last exercise. All right, so for the very last exercise today, you're gonna wanna grab yourself a stool or a chair or something that you can hold onto. This stool's actually a little bit low, but that's okay. Or you can hold onto a wall, just something to stabilize yourself. So go ahead and do that. We're gonna start with both feet nice and turned out and our foot, one foot in a tendu derriere 
From there, we're gonna lift it up in attitude and bring it back down. We'll do that two times slow and then four times, nice and quick. And then we're gonna add in some pulses in plie and then some pulses in four starch, making sure that when we're in four starch, our weight is going over our big toe, not over our pinky toe and sickling out to the side. We'll rapid fire stretch by crossing our foot in front and then switching to the other side. Let's do it. And go up. Two, three, four, down. Really wrap that leg behind you, wrap it behind. And now two counts up and down. One, two, Four more just like this. Four. Three. Two. And one stay up. Plie for pulse. Let's go in one. Two. Three. Four. Break down the music. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Find your four starts for eight. Uh, 16 more counts. Woo. Really push. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Don't come down yet. Extend that leg. Extend it. Ugh. Cross it in front. And switch legs. Five, six, seven, eight. Lift. Two, three, four, close. Standing leg is super tall and strong, pulling up on that supporting side. And lift. Two, down. Two. Four more just like this. Up and down. Up and down. We a pull. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, find a four starch and push. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Eight more, keep going. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Don't lose the little extension. Extend. And lower. Ooh, crisscross that leg in front. All right, guys, that is it. All right, that was a killer workout and you guys made it all the way through to the end. Obviously you liked the video, so be sure to give me a big thumbs up and let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. I'm always posting videos about acrobatics and dance. And remember to never dwell on what's behind you. Unless if we're talking about your attitude and arabesque, because those are very important to focus on. Okay, bye guys, I'll see you in my next video.